All right? How this place works, how this place works, right? You come in here, right? Um, does this guy sell you stuff? No, this guy is just greedy. This guy just greets you, right? This, you, you talk to these guys, similar to how it works in a casino. You talk to these guys. So every week, you can use Mira and buy these, uh, I'm gonna just call these chips, right? Casino chips. You buy, you buy these chips for Mira. There's a weekly buy limit. There's a weekly buy limit for these. And you use these chips during the game against other players and you win their chips or you can lose your chips, right? And then every week as well, you can convert chips back to Mira with a cap. So this is two times 500 equals 1,000, right? So you can get additional 1,000 Mira from the Gamba house every week if you win. If you lose, then you lose, All right? So, so after you win it big, like everyone does in the Gamba house, right? After you win it big against other players, um, you have a huge stockpile of these Gamba chips. And this, this, is your, this is your weekly. This is a weekly now. You come here and you get your Mira back. So this is a, a, a Mira generation, 1,000 per week, okay? Just, just, yeah, just get it twisted. You will win for sure, right? Get it twisted. And then, uh, right? Also, this guy, this guy can also just, you know, you can exchange your exchange for stuff here as well. Don't have to go all the way to the people at the front desk, right? This is very easy, it's right next to the tables, right? This is the meta guy to use, right? So how does this work? So if you have friends or on release day when people are trying shit out, there are tables free. You can sit down on a t at a table and other people can also sit down and you get into a game, okay? You press ready and you start. Right? I'm, I'm just going to show a, an actual game. Right? There's base points. This is the starting base points. This is the, this is the multiplier. If you think you have a good hand, uh, you can choose to be landlord or you can choose to not be landlord. If you choose to uh, compete with the landlord, the base points go up to 200. Right? If you're not competing, right? It's the landlord versus two other players now. It's 2v1. But the landlord gets th these three cards. The landlord gets additional cards to, to build combos with. And the first player to use all their cards uh, is the winner. What? I don't have... I'm gonna say no. Right, and then I will I will be explaining the rules for this separately offline because the, the rules are kind of complicated. All right, offline gate here with the detailed explanation of the rules. These are the 54 cards that are dealt to the three players with three left over reserved for the landlord. Players then take turns bidding for the landlord position, so you want to bid if you think your hand is good. Each bid will increase the base points by 100 points up to 400 points if bidding comes around back to the first player. If everyone has a shit hand and no one bids, then hands are re-dealt and bidding restarts. Being the landlord allows you to win double the base points and receive the final three cards, allowing you to potentially build better combos, but you are then fighting 1v2. The landlord wins when all cards have been played. The peasants win when either one of them plays all their cards. All right, here is the basic ranking of each individual card, and this is very important. You can only play cards that match the category, chain length, and are of higher rank than the previous player, with some exceptions. And remember, suits are completely irrelevant in this game. Just look at the numbers when playing. Now, we talk about the different hand categories. First is the solo, which is just any single card. Then we have the chain, which is any five or more consecutive individual cards. Note that ace can only go at the end of a chain and two and the jokers cannot be part of chains. This is a basic chain rule. Next is the pair, which is just any two matching cards of equal rank. Then we have the chain variant of the pair, 
which requires you to have at least three consecutive pairs. Again, where ace goes to the end after king, and two and the jokers cannot be part of chains. Then we have the trios. You get how this works by now. This next one is a bit more interesting. When you get to trios, you can tack on a kicker, either a solo or a pair. You don't have to, but if the priority player added a kicker to the trio, you must also match with the higher ranked trio with the same kicker type, solo or pair. The rank of the kicker, however, does not matter at all. As usual, there is also the trio chain, which requires at least two consecutive trios. Then there is the trio chain with kicker, or the airplane, which is two previous rules combined, with the only caveat being the kickers must have matching types, so two distinct individual cards or two distinct pairs. You can't mix and match an individual and a pair, as the kickers. And finally, we have the four of, which is called a bomb. These defy category restrictions, which means they can be played over anything, and you can only beat these with another bomb of higher rank or the joker rocket, explained later. Bombs will also double the multiplier of the game, doubling your win or your losses, so play with caution, as the game can quickly spiral out of control when multiple bombs are being played. Alternative to the 4 bomb, you can also choose to add 2 kickers instead to get rid of your hand faster. The kickers can be 2 individual cards or 2 pairs. This however is no longer considered a bomb, and you cannot play it to defy category rules, and other players may bomb you with lower ranked cards. Finally, we have the trump cards that destroy all, the joker rocket. These can be played over anything, no exceptions at all, and just like bombs, will also double the multiplier. If you got these and still lost the game, all I can tell you is you got skill issues. Right, the first player that get rid get, gets rid of their hand is the winner. Uh, and whoever wins on the two 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 v one side, the two player side, right? If you win, whoever wins counts as winning, right? So as long as one of you get rid of their, your hand first, you win. And then the landlord, if he gets rid of his hand, he wins. And this is the there, there's a ranking system which which card is bigger than which card. There's different combos and shit. Uh, two is considered one of the bigger cards besides jokers. Cool. Is this big two? I don't know what big two is. I'll do some more research off stream, and then make an actual guide to how to how to combo. What is what you can play, what you can't play, blah, 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 all that stuff. Right? As long as they don't have anything bigger than you, that you're considered to be... Everyone else can pass and you can continue continue playing cards, right? Right? So let's just do a quick combo here. Hopefully. 2Y is not supposed to play anything here because he's on my side, right? You never play big shit over your teammate, right? That's just general what you should should never do, right? So now I have... Now I can play, right? Right, you can do this. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. You can do six, six, seven, seven, or you can do nine, nine if you have nine, nine. You can go even longer. And then a four of is a bomb. Two jokers is also a bomb. Those can blow up anything. And double the multiplier. Right? You can also do this type of stuff. The color, the color and the, right? The colors don't matter. Only the numbers matter. I probably lose. I just need Tuwa to feed me a single card. Because he's, he's, he's on my team, right? And then we win, basically. But he, Yumi has a joker. I'm left with the two. Two is one of the, two is the one of the bigger cards, right? Besides jokers, I can't I can't play this, right? So now now like this is team play, right? This is team play. Now you can, if they're slow, you can chuck shit at them now. So now I need Tuwa to play something big over Yumi, and then uh, 
and then Yumi will pass, and then Tuwa can play anything, any single card, and and then I win. Right? This is a team game, right? So you gotta have a teammate that knows what they're doing. Right? Can Yumi play over the double ace? Only double two or or jokers can play over, right? Or bombs, right? Now Yumi passed back to Tuwa. Tuwa can play any single that's smaller than the two, and I and we should win. Right, Tuwa? Play something? Alright, three. This three is the lowest, the lowest card. And then now I play a two and now we win. Right? And then we gain points. And Yumi loses Gamba points. Right? That's it. That's it for this system. Right? The base points is 200. Multiplier is one. Do we farm non morb some more? Alright, let's go. This is a bad hand. This is a bad hand. Do we want to play this? Let's lose some points, fuck it. Let's, let's up the multiplier, let's up the base point. Every time you choose to become landlord, you up the base point. Right? So 4 times is base point 400. Multiplier 1. So quickly this, this, this gets expensive very quick. So only, only like, compete with trying to be the landlord at the beginning. Holy, what the fuck? Okay. Double jump. Alright, every time a bomb shows up, you up the multiplier by 2. By So now it's 2, and then it'll, it'll go into 4, and then it'll go into 8. A double joker is the biggest card you can, biggest combo you can play. It's bigger than anything. Three. My hand is trash. Wait, why did I do that? Whatever. Too late. Hmm. So basically you play bigger cards until you can't play anymore. Right? Since Yumi is my teammate, right? I can play a two to be bigger than him, but I don't do it because obviously there's no point using bigger cards against your own teammate. Right, so now Nam does double ace. I have double two. I can't let Nam play more cards because he only has five left. Uh, my hand is super bad. My hand is hella bad. This, there's no fucking way. And then a three can can play. You can play three plus a two. Let me just do this. Or three plus a one. Okay, none of them have it. So we just... Right, so now we don't have anything good to play, right? We play, we play something small to pass it over to Yumi. And hopefully our teammate can carry. This is my hand is pretty much over. Two is the biggest card now because there's no more jokers, right? I don't have anything bigger than a two. So we let Yumi continue to play. Three plus one. Pass. Three plus one. Pass. Right, and then if Yumi wins, Yumi wins. We also win, and Nomorb got farmed, sixteen hundred points again. <laughs> Have fun in the Gamba house and stay tuned for the Mahjong guy.